What's going on YouTube? My name is Christian Morris and I'm bringing you a calisthenics tutorial and today we're covering how to do a front lever. Stay tuned. A front lever is a calisthenics move uh, which is an isometric hold whereby your body is parallel to the floor when you're holding onto a bar. Uh, it's a really impressive move, definitely one of my favourites. So it's primarily a core and lat exercise. So you're going to need to have some form of prior strength in these areas before you're going to be able to do it. What it really is, is practice and a mind-muscle connection. So most guys you'll be able to find are strong enough to do this, but they just don't know how to do it yet. So I'm going to walk you through a couple of preparation exercises which you can do in order to work your way up to a full front lever. First things first, during this movement you need to hold a hollow body position. So I've covered this before, but to show you again, when you lay on the floor you need your lower back to be flat. So when you lie down normally your hand can easily fit underneath the base of your spine. So what you need to do here is lift your shoulders off the floor and then you will find that your hand can no longer fit underneath your lower back. Uh, another way to get into this is to bring your legs up in a V position with your legs and your arms up in the air and slowly lower your legs and arms down, ensuring that you can't put your hand underneath your back at any point. And that is the hollow body position. As I said, I don't believe that this skill requires that much strength to do, but the technique is quite complex. So the way that I think of it is if I have my hands above my head, as if I'm holding onto a bar, what you're aiming to do is in a curvature path with your arms straight, you're going to lower your arms all the way to your hip. And what you're going to do at the same time is push your hips up to meet your hands. So the way I think of it is when I'm hanging from the bar, I think my head and shoulders are going back and my hips are coming up. Now there are four stages of the front lever that we're gonna work through. The first one is the tuck front lever. The second one is the advanced tuck front lever. The third is the straddle or single leg front lever and then finally you've got the full front lever. So you have three progressions and then your final stage. And there's a couple of different ways you can go about training this and it all depends on what you prefer. So if you are one to prefer just training a static hold, then go ahead. On the other hand, if you're like me and you prefer a more dynamic approach, then what I would suggest, which is what I suggest for all calisthenic moves really, is a cheat and recover approach. So you're gonna try the progression above what you are currently on that you can't really do yet. And so what you'll do is you'll do a raise into that position or a negative from that position, as many as you can, and then you will go to the lower progression you're on and hold it. So for example, if you are close to getting a full front lever, then I would recommend either front lever raises or ice cream makers, and then superset that with one leg or a straddle uh, front lever. The first step to mastering a front lever is the tucked front lever. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hang from a bar and you're going to tuck your knees to your chest and rotate all the way through so that your feet touch the bar. Now you should be able to hold here without really any muscular endurance at all or strength. Um, it's just a lockout hold position that should be very comfortable for you. Now once you're in this position and you can comfortably get there, we're gonna move on to tucked front lever raises. So you're just going to continually in a rep-like fashion go from bottom hanging all the way to toes to the bar. So with your knees up to your chest, up and down. Step two is the advanced tuck. So again, it's the same with your toes to your bar, um, knees to your chest, and then what you're going to do is you're going to open out your legs so that the base of your back is flatter um, rather than rounded and it's now parallel to the floor. So your knees are pointing to the sky. And then again, we're gonna front lever raise in this advanced tuck position. And then if it's too difficult to hold the advanced tuck, then do a tucked front lever hold for your uh, superset. Then we're moving on to the one leg front lever raises. Or you can go straddle, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to raise up in exactly the same fashion, five to 10 times to parallel and back down. And then you're gonna hold an advanced tuck for however long you can. And then again, this will move forward to full front lever raises and then a straddle hold. Um, and then once you're comfortable with that, I would go just for, try uh, front lever holds as long as you can. An alternative technique that you can use to gain this skill are negatives. I've never really used them, but they're a fantastic training method in every other aspect of calisthenics. So you can definitely apply this. 
Um, so I'll show you here a way of doing uh, negatives. So what you're going to do is pull yourself all the way up to the top as if you've just done a leg raise, extend your hips through, and then slowly lower yourself down and lock your body into that hollow body position. I do find this quite challenging, but it really engages your lower back, just like the front lever pulls do. My favorite way to train the front lever, absolute favorite, are ice cream makers. They sound really bizarre, and I guess they're called this because someone thought it might look like an actual ice cream maker. Not too sure how much it resembles it, but anyway. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with your chin over the bar at the top of a pull-up position. And then the technique for this is, I think of it as pushing away from the bar and pushing your hips forward. Making sure your core is engaged and you're in that hollow body position the entire time so your body is one rigid, solid piece or plank. And then once you're in the position, then you come back up to the chin up and you just use your momentum to rock backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. To progress in this is to really slow down the, um, the rocking and try and use as little momentum as possible. Looking anywhere online, you'll see that so many different people have so many different ways of learning this skill and no one did it the same way. So really the best way to do this is whatever you find the most enjoyable. So I've now given you so many different options We've got the cheat and recover, which is my personal favorite method. Um, the ice cream makers when you get to an advanced enough point, which again is one of my favorites. Um, you've got the uh, front lever raises through progressions, the front lever negatives through progressions, or just the static holds and getting better and better at it. And people would recommend holding it, being able to hold each stage for 20 seconds before moving on. I say screw it and just try the hardest progression you can. If you can only hold it for one second, that's fine. Then recover on the slightly easier progression. But this is all just advice. <laughs> Do whatever you feel comfortable with as that'll make you happy and you'll train more consistently and that's the key. It's practice, practice, practice. And then once you get it, it's all fun and games. And yeah, it's just a, it's a wicked move. Thanks for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you loved it. That would be wicked. Um, and I'll see you next time. Peace.